talking about those companies like the Magdan Group, like the Casapreco, like the Adunku, like those other companies that the chairman, the leadership is right here in Ghana. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are not, are not sitting well, if I can quote it. <laughs> if I use, I'm using a local language. They are not sitting well. We think, Magdan, yeah, I get Magdan, you, you I get I you. Know, we are, we are, you and I know how much Madan has done for the industry. Yeah, I get um, you. I understand. From way yeah. back, way back, even when they were much smaller than they are now. But they are this. Sometimes from a distance, we think they are doing that well. But you go in there and then you discover that um, they are not as, as um, comfortable as you think they are. Uh, but we'll continue knocking at the door and we'll continue preaching the sermon that let local Ghanaian owned companies um, squeeze a little, sacrifice a little to help us build society. Because, um, look, George, George, can I say something? Yes, Uncle Abel, please go ahead. You know, when because of COVID, we couldn't have entertainment. Yeah. The arts, the creative sector had was shut up. That is when we had agitation in the political sphere. Have you noticed that? Truth. When there's a lot of entertainment, there's calm. Yes. People must understand that. That a lot of agitations we've had in the political space um, have come in the time when the entertainment sector was silenced, when we couldn't, um, we had been stopped from performing and things like that. And then people began to entertain themselves with agitations. So people must understand that, that when you are promoting and supporting the arts, you are supporting the stability of a country. You are, stab um, you are supporting even um, security of the country. And that is what people do not often abet their minds to. Uncle Abu, we need